Welcome back to Tenala Gaming. Today we have a battle between Britannia and uh, Wars of Chaos. Uh, we're playing on the Swedish comp. I have a composition of 15. I'm fielding Britannia and I will go through my armor first. They're led by this dude here. He has uh, the Gromley Great Helm, Potion of Foolhardiness, Sword of Swift Slaying and Virtue of Heroism. He also has a shield. Then I have a level 4 Prophetess, Lore of Heaven. She has the Chalice of Malfleur. Uh, this is my BSB. He has the Dawnstone and Enchanted Shield. And my other Paladin over here, he has the Gauntlet of the Duel, the Lance of Artua, Dragon Helm and Luckstone. Then I also have a level 2 of Beast. She only has the Prayer Icon of Quinells. For Core I have 11 Knights of the Realm, full command. And they have the Banner of Swiftness. Then I have 9 Knight Errant. They have Banner of Eternal Flame. Then I have 39 Men at Arms, full command. They have Halberds. 10% Bowmen with 5 arrows. 3 Pegasus Knight. They only have a Musician. Uh, and then 2 Trebuchets. And 9 Grail Knights. And they have the Banner of Shalons. Spells, my level 4 rolled up Uranus Thunderbolt, Comet of Cassandora. Chain Lightning and Curse of the Midnight Wind, going quite aggressively. On my level 2 I got Savage Beast of Horrors and a Transformation of Kadon. This is my Chaos list. They are led by a Chaos Sorcerer's Lord with a Chaos Familiar in Scale Skin, a Glittering Scales, Scepter of Stability, Sword of Striking and Talisman of Preservation, Mark of Nurgle and Law of Nurgle. Uh, and for Core we have... no! Ah. Then we have Exalted Hero BSB with uh, Armor of Destiny and a shield. And then we have another Exalted Hero with uh, shield and Iron's Icon and Obsidian Lodestone. Mark of Nurgle as well. And for core we have uh, 27. Warriors with uh, Mark of Nurgle in shields, uh, Stand of Discipline, and uh, 30 class warriors with shields, Band of Swiftness, uh, Mark of Siege. And for special, we have one Gorby Chariot, no marks on that one. And for rare, two Helicanos. And for spells, Miasma of Pestilence, Curse of the Leaper, Rancid Visitations, Flesh Abundance, and Plague Wind. And I have a comp score of uh, 14. Uh, we're playing Bat Line. took the first turn, moved up everything like this, uh, over to magic and uh, hopefully some shooting. In the magic phase I got off uh, Curse of the Leaper and Miasma, he stopped uh, Flesh Abundance. Uh, for shooting I killed four men at arms and the other one rolled a misfire so my wizard had to take a leadership test uh, but she passed it. Over to uh, Britannia turn one. Turn one, I only moved the Grail Knights here to get some cover from the building, and I moved around the Pegasus Knights to get behind his lines. Uh, now let's go to shooting and magic. I got in Comet of Cassandra over here, he let it go. Then I did the Chain Lightning, got a pretty high roll, and I targeted this unit, but I didn't do any wounds. Nope. 
and uh, didn't it didn't bounce either. So yeah, quite bad. And for shooting, I did one wound uh, on the core beast with uh, one of the catapults, and then I scattered off completely from this target. Now we go to Cow's turn two. Warriors of Cow's turn two. I moved up, not all the way because I want the Comte of Cassandora to be able to hit him if it doesn't come down my turn. Moved up the chariot, move to magic and shooting. Uh, in the magic phase, the comment didn't come down. Uh, I got off Miasma here. Uh, the D D3 lower uh, weapon skill initiative if they come in. And Curse of the Leaper, uh, three more toughness there. In the shooting phase, I killed one knight there and two men at arms. Over to Britannia turn two. Turn two, as you see, I charged in basically everything. The Pegasus knights in the rear, the Grey knights in the flank, and uh, the other in the front. Uh, otherwise, I just reformed here to get in range for some spells. Now let's go to Winds of Magic and shooting. In the magic phase, the comet came down. Um, I only got two inches in, for range, so I only hit this unit of Knight of the Realm and uh, the warrior unit over here. I did 12 hits plus three on this unit, didn't kill a single one. And here I did 12 hits as well, uh, didn't kill a single one either. So yeah, I'm not sure if it was lucky or not. For shooting, otherwise, yeah, otherwise I didn't cast any more spells or did, didn't get them through. So for shooting, no wounds with the archers or the trebuchets. They scattered off. Now let's go to this marsh pit over here. Combat phase, uh, I did, I, I'm not sure about wounds, but I won with eight, like eight, eight wounds. Eight wounds, so yeah. I broke him and uh, he ran. I pursued with my Knights of the Realm and the Pegasus Knight and uh, caught him. And uh, yeah, that was everything. Now we go to Cow's turn three. Of Cow's turn three, uh, I shot with the last warrior units in his men at arms. He fled. Uh, this this helic cannon into the uh, what's it called the Knights of the Run. Not Knights of the Run, and move this uh, chariot to be able to charge next turn if uh, if it can. Uh, over two winds of magic and shoot it. Magic phase. We got seven dice each. I got off a curse of the leaper low no, there. There's toughness by two, uh, and then he stopped uh, the other one, uh, rains, in, uh, rains in visitation. And in the shooting, I uh, scatter off over to this close combat. The combat phase, uh, he did two wounds to me, I did none back. Uh, he did a combat reform like this. Over to Britannia turn three. Turn three, I... Uh reformed as you see here and uh, basically fled away. I managed to rally the men at arms, <coughs> flew the Pegasus Knights here to the right flank and uh, here we remain in combat. Now let's go to close combat and shooting. I tried to cast Comet of Cassandora over here on his hell cannon but he dispelled it. Then I actually five dice transformation of Kadon and turned my uh, level 2 beast wizard into a black Hydra. Uh, kill a couple of men at arms because it was irresistible, but I yeah I actually got the bad one, the the detonation, cascade. cascade. But I managed to survive, and uh, then I tried to cast Curse of the Midnight Wind, but he dispelled it. For shooting, uh, one of the trebuchets got a misfire, can't shoot this turn or next, and the other trebuchet got a direct hit and killed four of the warriors. Now let's go to the close combat over here. Combat, he killed two knights. And uh, I did one wound back to him. So we're staying, we're stuck. Now let's go to Wars of Chaos turn four. Chaos turn four. Uh, failed the leadership with the Helicana. It moved five inches this way. Uh, the chariot into the knights here. Did uh, swift reform. Ended up like this. Hopefully it doesn't come in with the like Hydra. Over to Magic. Big face, we got four dice each. I didn't manage to get the spell in. I tried to load this uh, initiative and weapon skill. Uh, and no shooting because of that failed leadership test. 
So we took this combat here. Combat phase here. Uh, didn't get lucky with the impact hits. Uh, he killed the Helicon with Hero Killing Blow. Won the combat by, by one. Uh, I didn't manage to stay. He got me, got this far. So over to Britannia turn four. Four. I only had one charge, it was the Knights of the Realm into the Hell Cannon. Then I moved around the Pegasus here, moved up the Black Hydra to shoot some flames down on his warriors. Here I made a quick reform and just turned up to be able to charge maybe next turn. Moved up the Man at Arms slightly as well. Now let's go to magic and shooting. I got in uh, Curse of the Midnight Wind on his Hell Cannon. Tried Comet of Cassandora, but he dispelled it. For shooting, the trebuchet got a yeah, scattered two inches, but uh, managed to kill a few. And then did a breath, breath weapon with the Black Hydra and killed four more. Uh, let's go to close combat over here. Close combat phase, the Lord with Heroic Killing Blow killed the Hell Cannon. Now it's over to Chaos turn five. Uh, turn five. Yeah, uh, did a swift reform here to be able to cast some spells. Hopefully, uh, over to magic. The magic phase. I got off uh, a plague wind and killed three knights. Over to Lissaman. <laughs> over to Britannia. Turn five. turn 5 I charged with everything, failed with the Grey Knights but everything else came in. So Knights of the Realm in the front and everything as you see. Now let's go to Winds of Magic. I tried to get in Midnight Wind but he dispelled it and then I got in Savage Beast of Horus on my Paladin. Now let's go to this close combat. I surrounded him and beat him down. I think I killed 6 and he killed 2 of my guys. And he fled but I, he rolled down 11 so I couldn't catch him with anything. So I'm just chasing him down. Now let's go to Chaos turn 6. six. Chaos turn 6. Hope for a big vortex here. That's the only thing I can do. Uh, yeah, so over to Magic. Only got 3 dice. 3 ones. That was. So uh, yeah, over to Britannia turn 6. Last turn I decided not to go in because I yeah, didn't want to, basically I felt that I had a game and uh, so I just moved up the sorceress and threw some thunderbolts and uh, chain lightning and stuff. And uh, shot with the trebuchet, I killed four more. So yeah, we wrapped it here and uh, it's a big victory for Britannia. Today the dice were not with the Chaos player, especially for the Hell Cannons, put a lot of points in them and uh, they did not, yeah, they did not... Uh, do that much in this game, unfortunately. But yeah, it's always nice to win Br with Britannia, even though I feel bad for my opponent when the dice are against someone. We'll be back with another game soon. Thanks.